Well, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Gary. How Look you doing, bears buddy? out of hibernation, aren't we? Grr. <laughs> <laughs> I just love Oregon. I love the moss. I love the creeks and the rivers. The best part of it is that we're about a five minute walk off the highway and it's as if we're in the wilderness. It's just beautiful. Well, the river behind us is uh, the Zigzag River. And the Zigzag River flows down off of Mount Hood. And uh, right now there's plenty of water. It's the right time of the year. The forest is all nice and fresh and green. The water's flowing nicely. I'm trying to talk Chris into going out in the middle of the river and getting his photo. He's, he's threatening to go get his waders. <laughs> this you can see the light is coming through the trees and the clouds are coming and going so we have both filtered light we also have some direct light coming down out of the sky up here not only that but the forest is all wet it's all moist all of the uh, all of the foliage all the leaves are all moist so when that happens you can take your polarizer Put your polarizer on and then turn your polarizer until the forest, all of the shine that's on those trees and all those leaves goes away. So the shine will be there as you turn your circular polarizer, the shine will go away and all the colors and all the colors of the forest will come out. So just a little tip about shooting the forest. Um, a lot of people don't think about using a circular polarizer. It's the same with the uh, water. The water will have a glare on the water, but if you use your circular polarizer, you can control that glare. So um, I always recommend a circular polarizer. And uh, I use the uh, um, LB warming filter from uh, Singray. I really, really like it. You pay a little bit more for uh, the quality of the, um, the, the gear filter, but it's the best filter I've ever had. So. I take really good care of it.
Chris went back to his rig to get his uh, waders. So I think he's decided to get in the water. It'll be fun. Chris has decided to get down and wet. Not down and dirty, but down and wet. Uh, he put his um, put his uh, his waders, his chest waders on, and he's getting in the river. And what he's doing is he's shooting these um, waves in the foreground here, and using those as a foreground. And that foreground gives you uh, a lead in, gives you a solid base for your photograph. And then, in the background, it's got these beautiful trees, so, and the light. So, the foreground interest is going to be the waves, and you could take several photos to get different patterns. So, there's a lot of times that I'll take maybe six or seven or eight different ones to get just the right pattern. Because it's always dynamic, it's always moving. And so, use that as a foreground, get in the water and uh, shoot upstream against the light and should have a good photograph. So I was down photographing the little pour-offs down here in the same, very same way. I was down, I was low, I was shooting down and up with these little pour-offs in the foreground of photographs. So a lot of people would like to just stand on the side of the river and just to shoot out at the river, but sometimes you have to get in the river to participate in the situation. So, yeah, a little bit of advice, get your feet wet if you don't have waders. If you have waders, put them on and get in the river. So. Did you have fun, Chris? Oh, got a little wet, got a little cold, got a couple shots. It's a good time. Spring is here. It's so green. I know. It's, so it's green, beautiful. So, beautiful. so lush. Right now, it's so it's damp. It's wet. It's beautiful. The sun is coming through. The clouds. It's just a perfect day. I like looking at the trees and seeing the little just droplets catching light. Yeah. And they do. In the forest. Yeah, I like it when these the maples and the the moss is all back backlit with the sunshine. Well, we're a five minute walk away from our car, which means you don't have to be an intrepid explorer to be able to get some beautiful photographs. To be honest, this is only five minutes from my house. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty backyard, Barry. Not too shabby. Yeah, I love it where I live, that's for sure. <laughs>